A mass shooting survivor is demanding change after 19 children and two adults were killed at Robb Elementary School in Texas. David Hogg, a survivor of the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, is urging Americans to take action in the wake of Tuesday's massacre. He tweeted, quote, no more debates or thoughts and prayers. We need bipartisan action. Hogg attended Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School back in 2018 when a gunman opened fire in the school, killing 17 people. Following the tragedy, he and other survivors founded March for Our Lives, a movement dedicated to ending gun violence. Now, David Hogg joins us now. David, uh, thanks so much for taking the time today on what I imagine is a difficult day for you, too. You're a survivor of one of the deadliest mass shootings in American history, now in the wake of yet another mass shooting, one that is somehow deadlier than the one that you unfortunately experienced. How are you coping today? What are some of the thoughts and the feelings that come up for you? You know, I'm basically trying to uh, check in on people that I care about as much as I can in between interviews and between conversations with our team because we're planning a lot of stuff right now. Um, but there are certain moments when you have to realize that, you know, uh, I've been screaming and shouting at the top of my lungs for years uh, about this stuff. I was, in fact, in front of uh, Senator Chuck Schumer's uh, office in New York just a couple months ago demanding a vote on universal background checks where I brought body, body bags in front and said, we need to do this. Um, and his staff said, you know, well, it's just like we just gave me excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. And I said, look, like people are dying every day here. You've got to do something. And uh, it it's really hard to cope with this. You know, it's not easy. But the reality is, Americans need to stand up and do the job of our politicians when they can't because we need to lead by example. And that's what I'm trying to do just as one citizen to do my part of one of 300 plus million Americans to make our, our union more perfect. And so what are you doing, David? You posted several tweets yesterday, not uh, only pushing for action, but, uh, but also uh, promising that, quote, uh, we're going to do something, as you, as you put it. Uh, so what, what yeah. needs to change exactly? And, and how are you working to, to try to change it? Yeah, well, I, I think the first thing is, look, we need to stop debating this issue. We need to have a conversation as Americans, not as Democrats or Republicans, but about what can we do to protect our kids and our older people, too, and people of all ages, right? Um, because grandmas were taken away in Buffalo, and that's not being talked about you know, nearly enough either. None of these shootings are. The fact that we have the equivalent of a mass shooting like this happening every day in the United States in the form of individual shootings is unacceptable and it can't be prevented. And really what I want to get at is I've had many conversations, probably hundreds if not thousands over the years, including with people that have been armed outside of, pro outside of protests or rallies that we've had that vehemently disagree with me, even people who call me cri a crisis actor. Um, and I talk to them and I have not had a single conversation where I was not able to at least get people to understand that while we disagree, we don't need to hate each other and that we all want the same thing here. We don't want kids dying in their schools or their communities on a daily basis. And I, I urge Congress, the House, the Senate to do the same and focus on what we can agree on. That's why I think this time can be different. When we started in 2018, we didn't, the NRA had control of the House, the Senate and the presidency. We've now taken all three and we have the, mo the largest gun sense major gun violence prevention majority in American history, uh, in, the, in the presidency and all these other forms. I believe this time can be different, but the way it's gonna be different isn't by politicians necessarily just acting differently because they're not gonna do that on their own. Democrats won't do it, Republicans won't do it. It will have to be Americans demanding that they act in a bipartisan fashion, even in a small way through something like universal background checks to act. So why, why do you think this time is different? I mean, you, you, you're saying it now. I certainly don't want to be a pessimist, but we've heard before, not from you, but from everyone, that this time should be different after every one of these uh, mass shootings. You yourself said a moment ago that you've been screaming and shouting at the top of your lungs for the last few years. Uh, why do you think this time is different? Uh, I, I think the fact that we just had Buffalo happen and we had this happen on top of it, and the fact that I've been doing this work for the past four years, people like Cole Murray, I uh, have been doing this work since uh, Sandy Hook happened. People like Erica Ford, who's in Jamaica, Queens, and work in gun, daily gun violence prevention. I've been doing this work for decades. 
the movement is stronger than it ever has been right now. And we have the people in power that we can use to change these things, even if it's in a small way to show Americans that we are doing something to address this. There's no single policy that is ever going to completely end gun violence in the United States because there are 400 million guns here. That's 100 million more than there are people. What we can do is focus on eradication, though, in the first place. David, certainly hope you're right that this time will, in fact, be different. David Hogg, thanks so much for taking the time with us today. Thank you.